Hey, welcome to a new section, caching content. In the previous section, we saw how to build an e-learning platform. In this section, we'll create public views for displaying course information and then build a student registration system. We'll also show how to access the course contents and render different types of content. Lastly, we'll use the cache framework and look into the process of caching. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with displaying courses. In this video, we'll list all available courses, optionally filtered by subject, and then display a single course overview. So, first we edit the views.py file of the courses application and add these lines of code to it. We add this import statement and add these codes at the bottom of the code and save the file. This is the course list view. It inherits from template response mixin and view. In this view, we perform these tasks. First, we retrieve all subjects, including the total number of courses for each of them. We use the ORM's annotate method with the count aggregation function for doing so. Next, we retrieve all available courses, including the total number of modules contained in each course. Then, if a subject slug URL parameter is given, we retrieve the corresponding subject object and we limit the query to the courses that belong to the given subject. Finally, we use the render to response method provided by template response mixin to render the objects to a template and return an HTTP response. Let's create a detail view for displaying a single course overview. We import detail view and add these lines in the views.py file at the bottom. Now save the file. This inherits from the generic detail view provided by Django. We specify the model and template name attributes. Django's detail view expects a primary key or slug URL parameter to retrieve a single object for the given model. Then it renders the template specified in the template underscore name, including the object in the context as object. Now, edit the main urls.py file of the Educa project and add this URL pattern to it. We add the course list URL pattern to the main urls.py file of the project because we want to display the list of courses in the URL. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 and all other URLs for the courses application have the course prefix. Next, edit the urls.py file of the courses application and add these URL patterns. Here we define the course underscore list underscore subject for displaying all courses for a subject. and course underscore detail for displaying a single course overview. Let's build templates for the course list view and course detail view views. Create the following file structure inside the course directory of the courses application. Now create a new file and name it list.html inside the course application and add this code to it and save it. This is the template for listing available courses. Here we created an HTML list to display all subject objects and build a link to the course list subject URL for each of them. We add a selected HTML class to highlight the current subject, if any. We iterate over every course object, displaying the total number of modules and the instructor name. Now run the development server using the command python manage.py run server and open the URL 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 in your browser. As you click enter, this is the web page which is displayed. The left sidebar contains all subjects, including the total number of courses for each of them. You can click any subject to filter the course being displayed. Next, we create a new file and save it as detail.html inside the course application and add these lines of code to it.
In this template, we display the overview and details for a single course. Open the same link in your browser and click one of the courses. And you can see a page with this structure having the modules and the instructor. We've created a public area for displaying courses. Next, we need to allow users to register as students and enroll in courses. Amazing! In this video, we've successfully displayed the courses.